Hello everyone, I am B. Monisha, working as assistant professor in Department of Physics, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Trichangode. Today we see uh, what is positive rays and its properties and a positive ray uh, analysis. Uh, first, if uh, the cathode in a discharge tube is uh, perforated luminance uh, rays or observed behind the cathode. These rays travel in a direction opposite to the cathode rays. That is uh, from anode to the cathode. These rays uh, produce fluorescence when they strike a fluorescent screen present at the back of the cathode. In this diagram shows they are uh, deflected by electric and magnetic field. The directions of deflection indicates that are uh, positively charged. This, uh, this is called positive rays or uh, canal rays. And then uh, these rays consist of positively charged ions produced by the ionization of the gas atoms by the uh, fast moving electrons of the cathode rays. Then positive ions uh, are gas atoms which have lost uh, one or more electrons. Hence uh, the mass of the positive ion is almost the same as uh, that of uh, a neutral gas atoms. Then properties of uh, positive rays. These rays affect a photographic plate uh, and produce fluorescence and penetrate thin aluminum foils. Then they are deflected by electric and magnetic field. Uh, the directions of uh, deflection indicates that they are positively charged. Then uh, uh, therefore, the positive rays uh, particles are much heavier than the electrons. Uh, the velocities of all the positive rays particles is not the same. The velocity of these rays range from 10 power uh, 5 to 10 power 6 meter per second. Then positive rays analysis. Uh, this method is also known as Thomson parabola method. Uh, in this diagram, uh, Thomson determined the charge to mass ratio of positive ions by using the uh, uh, apparatus. It consists of a discharge tube uh, in which the pressure of the gas is about 10 power minus 5 meter of mercury and then anode is held in a side tube. Uh, in order to ensure the supply of the gas under test a steady stream of the uh, gas is allowed to flow through the capillary tube after circulating in A is pumped off at F. The cathode uh, C is uh, perforated with an extremely fine hole. Finally, the liquid air trap helps to keep the pressure in uh, G uh, quite low. Even though the pressure in uh, capital A is comparatively large. The photographic plate when developed uh, shows a series of parabola. Then finally the theory of the uh, experiment is uh, a positive ion of mass capital M and charge E and velocity V. When no electric field or magnetic field applied the positive ions uh, strikes the screen at O. This is called undeflected uh, effect. Then uh, separation of isotopes. Uh, it consists of three types. Mass spectroscope method and then diffusion method, thermal diffusion method. Mass spectroscope method is photographic plate in the mass spectroscope of Aston's type is replaced by different vessels where the different isotopes can be separately collected. Then diffusion method, the rate of a diffusion of a gas through a porous partition is inversely proportional to the square root of the masses of the molecules. Uh, then diffusion uh, Thermal diffusion method is based on the fact uh, that if a gaseous mixture of isotopes is placed in a vessel, one part of which is uh, hotter than the other, the lighter molecules collect in the region of uh, higher temperature. Um, in this method is also uh, called Lucius-Tickle thermal diffusion 
ஐசோட்டோப் செப்பரேட்டர் தேங்க்யூ